A neutral electroscope can also be charged by induction. For example, if a bar with a negative net charge is brought near the scope, then the electrons in the electroscope will move down to the leaves and the leaves will repel. If the bar is removed, the, there will be no force pushing the electrons down, they'll return back to their original positions, the leaves will go down. So this inductive effect is temporary. No charge is transferred from the rod to the leaves because, of, again, electrons cannot jump across the air gap. You could see a similar thing with a rod with positive net charge. Same exact thing will happen. You push it near the electroscope, the leaves will spread apart, you pull it away, the leaves will close. One more piece is needed to affect a permanent change on electroscope. This would be a great time to ask yourself or the students, what is that piece? The missing piece is a ground. A neutral electroscope is connected to the ground and a negatively charged bar or rod is brought nearby. The negatively charged rod is brought near the top of the electroscope but does not touch it. Electrons in the scope will be repelled out of the scope down to the ground, thus leaving a net positive charge on the electroscope. So the gold leaves now have positive charges and they will repel each other. Note, when we talked earlier about the spheres and charging by induction, the charge on the rod that charged them did not change. And again, the same case here. Whatever charge was here in the beginning is still what we have at the end. The reason this is now a positively charged electroscope is excess electrons went to ground. We can also use a positively charged rod for induction. So over here we have a positively charged rod. We bring it near the top of the electroscope. In this case, electrons are attracted from the Earth. Remember, the Earth has an infinite source of electrons and it can either accept them or donate them. In this case, they travel up out of the ground, spread out on the electroscope. You now have negative charges here at the bottom. They will still repel itself. And again, the charge on the rod does not change. If the charging bar is removed while the ground is still attached, the electrons will still have a path to ground. So they can either go down to the ground or come up from the ground. In either case, the electroscope will now be neutral again. The leaves will fall back to, uh, together with each other. If you want to leave the charge on the electroscope, which also keeps the leaves separated, the ground must be removed before the charging bar. Now the electrons have nowhere to go and you will leave a net positive or negative charge on the electroscope. Now in this case, if you use a positive rod in induction, what you get at the end is a negatively charged electroscope. Electroscope. If you have a negative rod, your end result will be a positively charged electroscope. This is opposite from charging it by induction, where the electroscope comes up with the same charge as the charging rod. In induction, it's the opposite.